How could one jacket made for farmers, miners, and mechanics become so popular that not only is it worn by famous actors, athletes, and rock stars, but everyone from your mom, your doctor, to hipsters and influencers, and even your sister's dog all own one too. This is the Denim Trucker Jacket. Keep watching. This is Radial TV. All right, we are back with another episode of Radial TV. The classic denim trucker jacket has been a style staple for decades. It all started with a guy named Levi Strauss, who after two iterations of his denim jacket created the Type 3 and the rest is history. Though the basics have essentially stayed the same over 50 years later, here we are today still debating whose version is the perfect one. So which brand makes the best denim jackets? A trucker jacket, AKA jean jacket, AKA denim jacket, AKA, you know, just uncomfortable. Why would I get that versus Levi's? What are the differences between the three types of a denim jacket? I am in love with denim jackets. Denim jackets. Favorite denim jackets. This video is about denim jackets. So for this video, our team has compiled five great denim jackets taken from our own personal collections. They range from the high-end designer versions to the easily accessible and affordable, and a few sit somewhere in between. Stick around to the end of the video and we'll give you some current denim jackets that we recommend and where to buy them as a few of the ones in this video may not be currently available. So let's get into it. The first jacket up really is the iconic denim jacket and truly is the original that almost every other denim trucker jacket is based on. This is the Type 3 denim jacket from Levi's. This jacket has been a fashion staple since its inception in the 60s and has been worn by everyone from John Lennon to Justin Timberlake, not to mention style icons like Elvis Presley and Daniel Craig. Somehow, this jacket has found a place in the fashion of every decade since it was invented. The Type 3 was a redesigned version of the Type 2 and later became known as the Trucker Jacket. Design elements include a tapered style, welt hand pockets, and bar tacks which hold down the chest pockets and sleeve openings. The basics of this jacket have essentially gone unchanged since it came out, complete with pointed flaps on the front chest pockets that have since become the standard on almost every denim trucker jacket that has come out since. One great thing about the Levi's denim jackets is that they are relatively inexpensive compared to the designer brands. So you can wear a jacket like this day in and day out until it's worn in and beat up. And the more fading and rips you get over time, it just makes it cooler and more unique. One thing to note is just to size down if you want a slimmer fit because these fit a little looser than some of the other options on this list. Now, fast forward over half a century later, and not only is the Type 3 as popular as ever, but in that time, it's been imitated, copied, been the inspiration for literally thousands of denim trucker jackets, not only by other denim brands, but almost everyone from department store brands and high street stores to the highest of high fashion designers. The influence of Levi's Type 3 is as ubiquitous as it ever was. So what does a denim trucker jacket look like that is a about 10 times the price tag of a Levi's jacket designed by one of the most beloved creative directors of the present era. Let's take a look. So next up is a jacket from Saint Laurent. And the first thing to note about this jacket is that on the surface, it's pretty true to the classic trucker denim style. But as we look closer, you'll see they've taken a few stylistic liberties. The first slight change is at the seams at the front, which typically are more slanted at the bottom. But on the Saint Laurent version, they are more straight, which is also reminiscent of another classic, the Lee Stormrider jacket. You see this with some of Saint Laurent's other classic pieces where they just make things a little more linear and symmetrical. Another key element of this design is the larger sized collar. It's a bit larger than the traditional point collar of the classic trucker and the chest pockets are a little more straight and squared off than others in this style as well. 
There's also no welt hand pockets on this one and no inside pockets. So buying something like this, you know they've definitely gone for pure fashion over function. And the design overall does have a contemporary and sleek high-end designer look, despite its similarities to the classic Type 3. So keep in mind, these attributes are specific to this jacket, but Saint Laurent does have a variety of others in this style. Some don't fit quite as slim, some have the inside or outside pockets. From season to season, the fit does change, but a lot of the style cues have stayed the same. There's an expression that says art is not created in a vacuum, and fashion is no different. And as much as the modern YSL aesthetic clearly draws influence from rock and roll stylings of the past, this era of Saint Laurent has also had its own share of influence on other brands and designers as well. With that said, you may see a few similarities between Saint Laurent's denim trucker jacket and this next one made by Sandro. So this denim jacket from Sandro is slim fitting and definitely more of a tailored fit compared to the Levi's, but it's not nearly as slim as something like the Saint Laurent. It's more roomy in the arms and body, so compared to the Saint Laurent, this would probably suit more people and different body types. Where we see some similarities to the Saint Laurent is in some of the style elements like the larger collar and especially in the fading and distressing. It's really similar. This Sandro jacket has side pockets and inside pockets, so again, if you're comparing back to Saint Laurent, it's definitely more practical. That combined with the roomier fit, this makes it a great everyday jacket. Your price point on this is going to be quite a bit more than a Levi's jacket, but it will be less than the higher end designer brands. So it's something that fits right in the middle if you want a great trucker jacket with a bit of a designer edge to it and one that will last you a very long time. So right now, these are not on Sandro's website. Certain retailers like Farfetch still do have them, but the best place to look for these is on Grailed. There's a bunch of them on there and they go for anywhere from 100 to $200, which is quite a bit less than what these were selling for new and an amazing price for the quality even if they are pre-owned. Next up is this white denim jacket from All Saints. Now we love a crisp white denim jacket like this for a cool spring summer look. It takes that classic trucker jacket and gives it a totally different style, an elevated look that can either be more dressy or more casual depending what you pair it with. Now, this specific jacket from All Saints is from a few years ago, but they do pop up on Grailed or eBay if you keep looking. At the time, All Saints was making everything very slim and tapered, much like Saint Laurent. We're not sure if they're still making their jackets exactly like this cut or not, so if you have any feedback on that, let us know in the comments. This jacket has a longer torso, very slim arms, and high armholes, so it feels like it's designed for a tall, slim person, but even if you're smaller or average height, all this means is it's going to sit a little lower than a denim jacket might usually sit at your belt line, which is not a bad look either. Of course, this probably wouldn't be your everyday denim jacket. You'd want to keep this crisp and clean for the best look, but as an extra jacket in your collection, it can be a great style to have on hand. Finally, the last jacket we have to show you is made by John Elliott. Now, John Elliott is a relatively newer designer, and if you know his work, then when you hear the name, you probably think more of sweats and hoodies than denim. He's widely credited with bringing these types of items into the realm of high fashion and luxury ready-to-wear clothing. This jacket is the black denim thumper type three jacket. And we like that they actually called it the type three, kind of referencing the original Levi style and essentially admitting we didn't invent this style, but this is John Elliott's take on a classic. And we think they came up with something really nice. John Elliott as a brand has a strong focus on quality of fabric and construction, even custom making their own fabrics. And you can see that in this jacket. The fit is pretty classic to the traditional denim trucker, and they've given the fabric a bit of stretch, so though it does fit slim and snug, it is super comfortable. A black denim jacket like this is another style that's great to have in your closet because there's different ways you can style it, and this could be something you could wear casually as an everyday spring or fall jacket, or style it up to go out. 
This one is not on John Elliott's site anymore. We picked it up at Essence and other retailers still carry it if you look around a bit. There's also always one or two for sale on Grailed so you can make an offer and probably get a great deal on a really high quality denim jacket. So lastly, if you can't find any of the denim jackets on this list, or if the one you like is out of your budget, here are a few more jackets available now that we're really liking. We'll include a link on where to buy these in the description below. First is the Robbie Le Bleu denim jacket from Nudie. Great denim brand in general, and we're really liking the current design of this jacket. Second is Naked and Famous, another denim brand we like, and their denim jacket has a very classic design and comes in a few different colors. And lastly, this blue faded denim jacket from RRL by Ralph Lauren is really nice, especially in this blue faded style. So we hope you've enjoyed this video on some of our favorite denim jackets. These are just a few from our collections, but there are so many more great brands out there, so please share your personal favorites in the comments below. Radial is a collective dedicated to all things iconic, stylish, and cool. We share a passion for great style, aesthetics, and design. You can get involved by commenting and subscribing, and let us know if you disagree or agree with any of our choices. You can follow us on your social media platforms at Radial Mag for more content in the realm of art, fashion, design, and tech. Thanks again for watching. This is Radial TV.